Welcome to Pro Webcast News, where we bring you daily industry updates. Today is Thursday, May 27th, and you're watching the Afternoon Update with Paul Wilson. Today's news is sponsored by American Retirement Systems, providing competitive solutions for agents and advisors. For more information, please visit AmericanRetirementSystems.com. Now for today's headlines. The economy grew at a slower pace than originally estimated during the first quarter, expanding at a rate of 3.0% 3 rather than the 3.2% pace originally reported, the Commerce Department said today. A slackening in business investment, as well as reduction in spending by both state and local governments led to the revision. The increase has come on the heel of a 5.6% expansion during the fourth quarter and marks the third consecutive quarterly expansion. The Commerce Department said that businesses, business spending rose at a 3.1% rate, rather than the 4.1% pace reported last month. Spending grew at a 5.3% pace during the fourth quarter. In investments news, institutional investors kept their equities exposure in May despite market volatility, but also placed more money in safe haven cash, according to a recent Reuters poll. Surveys of nearly 50 leading investment houses in the U.S., Japan, Britain, and continental Europe showed an average mixed portfolio holding 52.3% of its holdings in equities. While this is less than the 52.8% seen in April, it is a relatively low decline considering MSCI's all-country world stock index was down nearly 12% for the same period. Investors also slightly reduced bonds to 34.9% from 35.5% in April, while cash holdings increased from 4.7% to 5.1%. Finally, the poll showed that despite troubles in Europe, allocations with equities to the Eurozone rose to 23.2% from 22.2% one month earlier. In regulatory news, Rick Ketchum, CEO and Chairman of FINRA, said this morning that the securities industry's self-regulator is planning a more, quote, laser-like focus on fraud. He said that FINRA examiners of broker-dealers have increased training in fraud detections, while mentioning enhanced examinations of firms as well as FINRA's new Office on Fraud. The renewed focus largely comes as a result of the Madoff Ponzi scheme and Alan Stanford's alleged $7 billion investor fraud. He admitted that both FINRA and the Securities and Exchange Commission are weathering an erosion of trust from investors, and added that regulators must ensure that similar occurrences are avoided in the future. Ketchum said that, moving forward, exams of broker-dealers will be based on identifying risk, adding that FINRA will move away from one-size-fits-all methods when conducting examinations. I'm Paul Wilson, and thanks for watching ProWebcast News. For more in-depth news and features, visit producersweb.com.